All right, so Friday, late afternoon, early evenings. Neighbors landscaper is at work. Every Friday, neighbors landscaper. That's when I usually get off work and have some free time do my videos. So that's why my videos always you always hear the uh, landscapers. Anyways, Rabakanda. Uh, never heard of them before, but I just saw a video. Uh, God, what was her name now? Girl on a bike. I was watching her video. Girl on a bike, mounting tires. And she timed it and it, she, she was able to change the dirt bike tire the rear dirt bike tire not the front but the rear in like four minutes and something you know something seconds so i was like oh i saw that i was like oh wow that was impressive so so i got me a got me a rabba rabba conda so this is from europe this brand is from europe i have no idea which country which country it's it's uh it's from but anyways um Got in here. So there's a little bag. So this is the uh, tote bag. You know, you can, it, the whole the whole thing uh, fits in this bag, right? See. The whole entire uh, tire changer fits in this bag. So that's pretty cool. So it's very basically tells you that it's very portable. But it's not you know it's not it's, uh, it's not light. This this thing is pretty heavy. It's all aluminum as far as I'm, I'm aware. Let me just look at it. Uh, let's see. So here it is. Uh, I think this one I have, the, it also included uh, some two tire spoons, uh, some tire irons. Let's see, it says right here five, five tire irons. So five tire irons, two tire spoons. So that's the difference between a tire iron and a tire spoon, right? So you look at the tire spoon, right? It's like shaped like a spoon. Whereas a tire iron is different. It's uh let's look at it. It's shaped more like a uh, it doesn't have that spoon shape, it's just straight. So the end is curved like this, the end is curved, but the thing is just straight. Rabakanda. Oh, it has the curve too. That's kind of cool. Uh, well, this is really nice. Again, this is from Europe. I don't know what country it's from. But I saw it and I, th I thought it was, you know, at least looking online, it looked very high quality. So, Rabakanda. They, oh, they even have their own casting, uh, uh, casting uh, for their tools. That's cool. So, yeah, so that's the uh, tire irons. So, five of them. Yeah, it comes with five of them. I never had to use. I never had to use uh, five tire irons. I only use uh, when I do it. I only use uh, three. Or well, actually, I use three tire spoons, not even tire irons. So that's right. The tire five tire irons, two tire spoons, and all the little whatever parts. Oh, this is not aluminum. This is steel. I thought this is aluminum. Looking in the picture on the online, it seemed like it was aluminum, but it's not. It's actually steel. Steel that's been uh, been nickel, nickel plated, nickel chrome plating. You know, basically the same thing. How nickel chrome plating works is that it, the steel will get nickel plated first, then on top of that, it gets chrome plated. You know, uh, chromium. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. Uh, so there's another one. Two of these. Things. So this one, I don't know what this this part is. This part just belongs to. You. Let me spread everything out a little bit so I can get a little bit. Uh, don't scratch up my. Uh, don't scratch up my. Uh, my new tire changer. Oh, this is for the this is the axle for the wheel. Here's the lever. Another thing for the wheel, I believe. The 
So here's for the, I think this is for the lever to attach to. This one's also an axle piece, probably for different size, different size axles. And this is for the, uh, the bead breaker. Just push down on the, on the tight wall of the tire to break the bead. So here's one of the legs. All right, there's a feet right there. Let's see, here's another leg. So it should be, uh, I think, four legs. Or three legs. Three legs, maybe. Yeah, so three legs. Some hardware. So it's it. The box is empty. All right, box is empty. Thanks, my, What's my utility knife on this? Hardware, some more feet, it looks like. Uh, let's see if I can assemble this thing all, all in one shot. Uh, what goes where? Let's see. So, this is a leg, or feet, eight feet, eight feet. This is somewhere on top, I believe. So, let me set these ones aside. Somewhere on top. Top the levers, so get those out of the way. This on top as well, so get this out of the way. So I'm actually glad that it's steel because steel is more durable than aluminum. Aluminum is not very, um, you know, aluminum is light, but it's not very durable. It's not a very durable material. Is it a basic or whatever for the axles and put those away? Or set those aside, I should say. Irons, spoon. Okay, so this is not a feet. This is so. This is like this. Yeah, I think this is like this. Uh, okay. Now we have to put everything together. What goes what? Or what goes where? I don't know. Let's, see, let's look at the feet first. So these two are. Which identical. So I think this one's like this. So it's like a, oh, this is, oh, is three legged. Oh, it's right. It was three legged, not four legged. That's like that, I think. Yeah, right there. So it's a tripod. Yeah, it's a tripod. So. It should be a bolt with the hardware. So remember, this thing is portable, so, so they made it so that way you can take everything apart uh, to make it, you know, to make it uh, easy to transport, right? So there's two, three slots there. So these two slots, I believe, is for this right there. Yeah, I think it's for this. So this right here would slide into this, I believe. So the nuts right there, there's a little washer right here. Uh, so, so so this right here slots, so here slots uh, between the washer and the uh, the bracket of this piece, I believe. 
tightens it, so this thing is like a cam. This right here is like a cam, so that's loosened right there, and that's to tighten, or this way to tighten, either way. Let's see if this fits. Let's see how it uh... Yep, slides right in. Oh yeah, down here, there's a little guy here that tells you what size wheels. It's uh, it looks like it's etched in, engraved in. Actually, it's it's punched in. Yeah, it's punched in with the you know like stamped in. This is the wheel size. I'm assuming. I'm, I'm assuming it's at this edge. Yep. So. So line up the line with this edge. So 17. Alright, 17. So. So, so if I'm moving, that's one, what's the other one? One, two on this side, same thing with this side. Right up at 17. I thought this thing was a, um, I thought this thing goes down to 16. It shows 16 over here, but over here, the smallest one it shows is 17, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Okay, two legs. That's the third one. So this is the third one right here. So it goes like so. Same thing for this little lever right here. Seventeen, let's see, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so so far that's how it looks. Let's get all the stuff out of the way here. Let's see, if you see better. So so far that's how it looks. All right. So this is where the rim rest on I suppose kind of don't like that because you know you have nicer rims they could get scratched up right all right let's see what goes after that oh I know what this is this is right here this is here to hold your um, tire irons the tire iron goes in here yeah the tire iron goes in here it's like a slot for the tire iron Maybe not in the bag, but but you're gonna leave it fixed, stationary. Just you know your tire irons go right in here, like that. Right. So let's look at that. So like that. Right, it's like a place to hold your tire irons. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's a thoughtful design when they do that. You know when they do stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Oh, this right here would be the uh, lever for the uh, here. Let's see. Raba, Raba Kanda. I wonder what that means. What language is that? Never, never heard that word before. Anaconda, need to look that up. Sounds like, sounds like Anaconda. Okay. So yes, yeah, so everything here is basically steel. So how does this go on? I don't even know how this goes on. Oh, this goes in here. Yep, that goes in there. I'm not sure if it's in the right direction. Is it that way or this way? So I'm not sure which direction it is. I should look up there. Instructions. Nope, that's not the instructions. What is it over right here? Oh, here it goes. The picture here. What does it show the other side of the picture? So. I'm lifting up. Oh, I'm lifting. Picking. Oh man, it's getting dark fast. Good thing I have this new iPhone. 
this iPhone 11, uh, no, not 11, 12, iPhone 11, 12 mini. The camera quality, the camera lens, and uh, it's like so much better than my old iPhone. My old one was a iPhone SE, the original SE, the first generation SE. It was a cool phone and all, but the, you know, the quality of the lens the camera wasn't that great. All right, so okay, this is the whole picture right there. So it's angling downwards along with the mounts. So it needs to be like this, my like mounts. Angling downwards. There has to be something there. So that's a quick release pin. So that's a quick release pin. Where's the other side? With the cuddle. Oh no, this thing has a little ball bearing. Oh, that's cool, a little ball bearing. So that way it just snaps in, snaps in. Like that, and that's it. Snaps in, we're good there. Uh, it thing comes with, oh, it comes with extra feet. Extra, or not the extra feet, but the end, the end plate right here. See right here on the end plate? So it comes with the extra one. So that's cool. End plate there. Another end plate for, is it that side? No, this that's a different size. Where this one go? I don't know where this one goes. Oh, you know what? This end plate is not an extra. It's, it's right here. It's on this side. It belongs to the. Oh shoot! It belongs to the the third leg over here. Jeez, why did you do it that way? Why didn't you just uh, install this to begin with? That's kind of odd. I would have just installed this thing to begin with. Kind of soft. I'm gonna use this. This looks like Darren. And that's how you use it. Wrong tool for the job, kind of thing. Uh, so this tool right here. There's some nuts and bolts. I don't see where the nuts and bolts go. <laughs> Two bolts right here for the ends. There's some nuts. Okay, the two nuts. There should be two washers as well. There it is. Two washers. Okay. So both ones go here. Oops. Bolt. I think they are identical. So there's no configuration. So, washer and a, a washer and a nylon lock nut right here. This, this right here. This goes, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So this is the uh, bead breaker. It goes in there. I think there's supposed to be a spacer over right here. That's pretty big. Spacer. Yeah, this is spacer right there. Oh, that, that means that this needs to be spacer here as well. So let me put the spacer in back into this one. Oh. And it got dark fast. That's how it is during winter time. Once the sun sets, it just goes dark real fast. Alright, so we've got that bolt. I have the little spacer right here. Um, little spacer. Plate. Yep. Other plate on the other side, right? Like so. The washer. And a nylon nut, lock nut. There's my dog barking at the, the neighbor's landscaper. It's always sparking at the last you know, anybody that walks by, obviously. There's the other piece. Goes in like so. Space 
sure. Pikachu right here. That, that space is like way too small. Doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem right. Uh, but looking at the picture, the picture shows that it's right. The picture shows that it's the right thing. That's the only thing that fits in these nuts and bolts. So, uh, hand tighten it for now. Uh, again, I'm looking at this picture right here. Uh, oh, you know what? It is in the wrong spot. That's why I didn't look right. I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, that didn't look right. It's supposed to be the bottom hole. Not the top hole. That's what she said, man. Right? <laughs> okay. Now it's now it fits more like it's supposed to fit. But it was like way too loose. I was like, what the heck? Tight for now. I'm gonna do everything hand tight for now. I tighten it down with the with the uh, tool in a little bit. Okay. Now I can put this handle on right here. And it goes like so. Right here, but where's the where's the? Uh, this should be another bracket right here. Oh wait, wrong wrong end. So this goes in like so, like that. So there should be two big bolts in here. One, two. Maybe these are pretty long. This one goes where? Uh, there's these two bolts. One is longer than the other. I assume the longer one is back here. This one is the narrow one. Now they both stick out about the same, which looks about right. This goes in, actually this goes in right here. So yeah, so they both these both stick out the same, so that means that's correct. Uh, my nuts and my washers. So two washers and two uh, two nylon lock nuts. So in where those spots are. Like so that nylon lock nut. Let's see, so this is the end cap here it's for the handle. This handle right here at the back. Ow, that hurt. Ah. So it has another end cap. Where does the end cap go? I don't see anything else. Uh, nothing else with any cap goes. Oh, right here. Right. Mm. I should get a, go get my mallet, but it's not lazy. It's not lazy. Okay, that's good. All right, it's pretty much in. Everything's pretty much in. I just need to, you know, obviously tighten on the nuts. And as far as down here, that is, uh, that depends on which, uh, which tool I'm gonna put in. So here's one right here with the threads. Uh, so, that's, so this down here is threaded. Let's see out of the way there. So this down here is threaded. This one has a hole down here at the bottom too. Alright, so it's threaded. Okay, 
there's another hole down there. I'm not sure what that's for. Is it for this? Might be for that. Another one. What is this? 28 millimeter spacer. 28 millimeter spacer. So I guess that's for like a dirt bike. And then the front, the front, uh, front fork on a dirt bike is, I believe, 28 millimeters. So I don't have any dirt bikes, so I'm not gonna be using that. It's all street bikes. Hopefully, I have something here that could fit a street bike. So the street bike, I think the street bike axle was a little smaller. Okay, so this axle right here is for a thicker one too, for a larger uh, diameter. Oh, that's what this is right here. So this adapter, this is an adapter. It, it slides into this. Uh, you slide it into this to make the make it bigger. So that's one size. That's one size right here. Two size. This one's a little bit smaller. Three sizes. Um, God, I hope this thing fits a street bike. So this one is uh, 18. No, excuse me, 12 to 18 millimeters. 12 to 18. Oh, this one has a sleeve too. So that's there's actually a sleeve in here as well. So 12, 18. I'm not sure what size this is. And obviously this one is a uh, uh, 28. So that's four sizes. Four sizes for the spacers. And this one is, uh, what is this? What does this go? I don't see it on the picture here. Let me just say right here. This is the uh, 58 millimeter adapter. 58 millimeter adapter. Is that for like a, is that for like a single sided swing arm? You know, motorcycles with single sided swing arm, like Ducati and such. That's what I'm guessing. Anyways, yeah, so that's, there, there it is. That's the whole uh, setup. Okay. So let me uh, back up a little bit. Man, it's like pitch dark now. So there it is. The whole, uh, the whole part. You guys can't see nothing. I don't have a light out here. So, all right, I'm going to end the video. It's getting too dark.